Hello, everyone. Welcome to another podcast of Living a Full Life. I'm your host, Dr. Enrico Dolcecori, and today's topic, red light therapy. What is red light therapy? How does it work? What does it do? Uh, what does it mean? Well, red light therapy, it's known as low-level light therapy or a photo or photobiomodulation. It's a non-invasive therapeutic technique that uses red or near-infrared light to stimulate cellular processes in the body. <clears throat> the light comes through an LED or low-level laser device, and what happens is your cells absorb this light, leading to various beneficial effects. Most commonly used in the last 30 years has been uh, red light for skin health and rejuvenation. I've seen these uh, fit masks and hats and all these things that you can wear that have these red lights in them. And it's commonly used in the cosmetic industry to improve uh, skin health, reduce the appearance of wrinkles, uh, fine lines, reduce age spots, and promote collagen production. Dermatologists now highly support red light because it's uh, non-invasive, has real no side effects, and it actually does work. It's also used to accelerate wound healing and reduce inflammation in the skin. So in the skin industry and in the dermatology industry, red light has been used for over 50 years. It's been something that has been uh, promising and used all the time. As a chiropractor, I've brought in red light therapy and have been using it for a few years for pain relief and inflammation. That's been that's been the number one reason we brought it in, and it has shown uh, promising results in reducing pain and inflammation with conditions such as you know arthritic pain, joint pain, muscle soreness, um, and it's thought to work on promoting by blood flow. So what happens is the red light uh, or infra near infrared light. What happens is your cells absorb this energy that increases its potential for movement and more movement in the cell means that they can move more inflammation away from the area, which is always great. And that reduces pain because you're re reducing the inflammation from the area, um, which has been absolutely fantastic. The side effect has been a lot of skin improvement as well. A lot of the people that are using this are saying it absolutely does reduce the wrinkles. I can see it in my neck. I can see it in my face. Um, so we actually upgraded to, it looks like a tanning bed. It's just this huge bed that you lie down in and, um, it's got over a hundred thousand diodes and, uh, yeah, it's like being in the sun, uh, and that way the entire body gets the, the benefits from it. Uh, it also helps with neuropathy. So same thing, the inflammation is it's thought to help with inflammation. So a lot of these, these kits that you see online say, Oh, I'm going to go on Amazon. I'm going to buy myself some red light. Well, those, those pads that you buy that are fairly cheap don't have very many diodes, and the diodes are weak, so you're not going to get much penetration from that red light. Um, but worth a try. It's, these things are worth a try. You'll see these uh, caps that they sell. They're like $1,000. They're red light. They look like a baseball cap to help regenerate skin and hair growth. Uh, does it work? I don't know. I've never tried it. But that's another uh, reason they've used it as well is for ha hair growth and for follicles and um, because, again, removes the inflammation and actually stimulates the cells in, in the um, hair follicles as well. Another use for a red light is, you know, muscle recovery and performance. Athletes in all industries have been using red light to help aid in muscle recovery. Again, it reduces inflammation. Uh, and it reduces muscle fatigue, soreness, and it leads to improved performance because if you're not sore, you feel better and you move better. So muscle recovery has been shown to speed up with red light therapy as well. And joint and bone health as well. Same, same issues. The reasons our joints hurt is because they're inflamed and red light can be a fantastic source for that. We've coupled red light in our office with some of our inflammation programs, whether it's functional medicine, um, weight loss and other inflammatory conditions, and it works really, really well. It's, people are getting into the mode of like, it's time for me to make a change in my health. I'm willing to get started. They get started, whether it's weight loss or functional medicine, whatever it may be, and they couple it with red light, and uh, the effects just dramatically move faster. And it's, it's been absolutely phenomenal in our office uh, for that. And many offices are, uh, around the country and around the world use it in all different sectors, both from dermatology, chiropractic, physical therapy, um, athletic therapy, um, cosmetic. They're, they're all, they're, it's all over the place, which is really cool. Some cool uh, research that comes out of Europe has been showing that it can even help with some mental health. 
Uh, some studies have suggested that it may have a positive impact in mood and cognition, clearing out brain fog. Again, inflammation. So everything we just talked about was about inflammation. Go back to one of our original podcasts uh, and you, we, we dive into inflammation quite thoroughly and all the cascades it can create and the diseases that are all inflammation-based will, will astonish you that most of the sources of all of our chronic issues is inflammation-based. So having something like red light is absolutely fantastic. Um, other, can, other therapies that work like red lights uh, are cold laser therapy, uh, where it's not uh, cosmetic uh, lasers, where they heat up an issue or heat up an area, used usually in surgeries to laser surgery to cut things or cataract surgery. That's a class four type laser. Anything underneath the class four uh, will not heat up the tissue. So a 3B or a 3A laser that will be called cold laser because it never really actually heats up any tissue. It actually just speeds up the process of ATP within the cell and the healing potential there as well, which decreases inflammation. So you may have heard of things like cold laser. Again, that's good for pain and joint and um, healing. That's another one as well. And things like cryotherapy. Cryotherapy, a uh, completely different idea there is it to, to freeze the tissue as, as cold as we can possibly get it to, again, reduce inflammation. Everything is based on inflammation. And it's important to note that any type of inflammation um, modulation, which can be red light, cryotherapy, an ice pack, a hot pack, uh, NSAID, whatever we're taking, an NSAID being like Tylenol or Motrin or whatever it may be, all are temporary. Because once that red light is, once you get off of the red light bed, that process has stopped. Or once you get out of the cryotherapy machine, that anti-inflammation process has stopped. Or once the NSAID has worn off, that anti-inflammation process has stopped and inflammation will come back. So it's important to remember during these types of therapies to be doing something to help resolve the issue that's underneath there. So let's use any condition. Let's say we got inflammation of the knee. It hurts. We have uh, maybe a meniscus tear. Maybe it's not torn. Maybe it's an MCL strain, whatever it may be. Something's inflamed in the knee and it's become chronic. It's hurt you for more than three weeks, maybe three months, six months, a year. You've had this pain. And now you're like, well, I want to try one. I've been taking Motrin. It's just to get me through the day. And now it's been a year. And now we want to look at things that we can do to help fix the knee, um, taking an x-ray, getting an MRI, talking to an orthopedist. I mean, these are things we want to start maybe getting into a chiropractor or a physical therapist. Um, the, those, those modalities, orthopedic, chiropractic, physical therapy are going to be your modalities to help restore function in the knee to solve the issue. During that time, coupling it with something like red light therapy or cold laser ther therapy will help speed up the pain relief process, which is always great. So clinics that work on specific conditions that couple these things together are probably the places where you're going to get the best results and the fastest results with whatever joint pain you may be having. Just a little FYI tip there for you is to look at um, therapies that are coupled together to help speed up the healing and regenerative process. We talked about regenerative therapy in the last podcast. That one was really cool. Other options we can use as far as injecting areas with peptides, stem cells, PRP, prolotherapy, so many other conditions that we can use, uh, modalities we can use there as well. But with red light therapy, very cool. It's used um, broad-based, very safe. Uh, you can get memberships at some places. You can pay per usage. You can uh, buy them in your home. I mean, some of these devices are can be bought. And they range from, if you go on Amazon, you can get a pad for like 100 bucks, And then you look at one, another machine that you can get and cost hundred thousand dollars and and you wonder what's the difference between those two well it's the quality and the actual results you're going to get is that you're getting actual diode and led power these diodes are not cheap so if you see something on amazon and it's a hundred bucks for a pad you probably having less than a hundred diodes on there isn't going to do much um our seventy thousand dollar tanning bed has a hundred thousand diodes on it so there you go. That just gives you like a price point of how much light you can possibly get. The more light and the higher the higher concentration of red light you can get, the more the penetration through the skin you'll get. So the deeper you'll get. And red light doesn't go, and near infrared doesn't go very deep. It pretty much just gets to the skin cells and just underneath it to the cellulite, the cellulite level, which is right underneath our skin. You can't you can't help things with like uh, organs. 
discs and in, in the spine, it will never penetrate that deep. That's where you want to look into cold laser. Cold laser can get up to four inches of penetration, which is pretty cool. Those are better used for disc conditions, uh, spinal conditions, uh, maybe organ or any other type of uh, healing that we're looking for there. But red light doesn't penetrate that far. So that's the difference between cold laser, infrared, near infrared, red light. Just the wavelengths of the light that we're using. They all look red. Um, cold laser is usually coupled with a white light that you can't see and red light because that white light goes a lot deeper. That's the difference between red light and cold laser therapy. Definitely look into that. We use it at our office, of course, so if you're local, come check us out. But look into red light therapy wherever you're at. It could be something that could help you with some of those things that we listed earlier, whether it's um, wrinkles, uh, cosmetic, muscle recovery, pain relief and inflammation, hair growth, joint pain, uh, bone health, or even mental health. Look into red light. Uh, it could be something so simple and easy and cost-effective that it could help you or someone you know. If you have any questions, reach out to us. We're on social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, LinkedIn, Twitter. I guess it's called X now. We're on that. Uh, we're everywhere. Just look at uh, Full Life Chiropractic and our YouTube channel. Of course, you can watch me and all these podcasts in person. These are all shot and recorded in video as well. But uh, the audio is just as good. Stay well, stay healthy, take care.